Alright, welcome to Terraria. Now, I have a bit of an issue with ReLogic. Uh, I'm sure I'm the only person in the world that has an issue with ReLogic. They're doing fantastic work with Terraria. However, they have since updated the game, and now I no longer have every single achievement in the entire game. They've added, like, a lot. Like, a decent amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 achievements. Now, I don't actually have... I haven't perfected the game anymore. So, I need to... Perfect the game. And there are some, like, weird ones. Like, I know how to do the Torch God. Um, the Cell Phone and Ink Shield I can definitely do. But there are a couple, like, I've never seen before. So... I guess let's just go into my single player world. I think this is the one. Oh, okay, never mind. I just... <laughs> so I just got three more. I just got the Torch God. I got the Black Mirror, so obtain the Cell Phone. And Commutation Complete, obtain that Ank Shield. And Torch God. Now, there are a couple that I just don't know how to do. I'm just dead set, no clue. Delayed from death by drowning by drinking... Delayed death from drowning by drinking water. It doesn't make much sense, but oh my god, how do I do these? What we'll do is we'll go, we'll look for the shimmer first. So a shimmer in the dark. I think what I need to do is go look for... Alright, where the heck could the shimmer be? I believe I watched a video on it, and it's like... Holy cow, this map is huge. Um, I believe it's meant to be like roughly around here somewhere. So if I head over to the beach, I can definitely find that out. Now to find the shimmer, I'm not sure if I can do it here. I'm not sure if I can do the shimmy here, or if I need to go into a new world to find it. So it should be here somewhere, right? Oop. Happens more than you think. I feel like I'm not close to it. I may have made this world a little bit too early, so maybe I need to go check another world. Let me go check another world. I know a little bit about the Shimmer. Um, I've watched Chippy's video on it, and that was it. It spawns roughly on the same side as the jungle does in your world. I would love to continue playing Terraria. <laughs> but I feel like I've played it a lot. <laughs> like, I've played it too much. So I probably shouldn't continue playing it. I should probably try and find another game. Because I've played this game for 600-ish hours. Okay, so we're at the beach. It should be roughly here somewhere. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but if I should be able to just start digging down and then eventually see the shimmer. Once we know the location of the shimmer, then we can work from there. Oh, whoa. Here we go. We're, we're somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> This is intense. I love this. This is great. This is so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Shimmer in the dark. I, I don't know what I just got. Shimmer an item into another item. What? Did I do that intentionally? I think my dragon just killed something. Oh. This is beautiful. Alright, well. Uh... Let's just turn on auto-pause. And then we'll go check the achievements. What do we need to do here? Some very special seeds can lead to unique and rewarding experiences. Can you find one? So I need to drop a seed in, maybe? Man, this is... This is beautiful. I believe you can drop stuff in, and it will... It will change it into something else. Yeah, it'll change items into other items. I don't exactly know what it does. Like, what items it changes. So we might need to test that. Alright, there are a couple of easy ones I think we can do straight away. I need to turn off auto pause. So, um, the drinking one, uh, unusual survival strategies. This one is you drink water while underwater. So we're going to do that one first. That one seems like it's a pretty easy one. But I need to probably jump into another world. If you're calling me a cheater because I have like nine celestial signals, eh. I'm pretty sure I got to the very end of the game and I was like, you know what, I just want to fight Moon Lord. I don't want to go through the whole process again. Alright, so, we need to get water. We can get water by just jumping in here and going bottle of water. 
Now, if we try and drink this... Uh, I'm meant to... Delay death from drowning. Oh, okay, I see. I'm wearing something that can make me breathe in water, so it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so, I just need to get in. I've taken off my breathing apparatus. Now I just drink the water. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Why did that not work? Now, we're gonna drop in the water. We're going to make two bottled water. Now, I'm gonna wait until I'm about to die. So I'm out of breath and then I'm drowning. I think this is how you get the achievement. Like you need to be drowning and then you drink water to help yourself not drown, which doesn't make any sense. There we go, unusual survival strategies, fantastic. Alright, so I just drank water to stop myself from drowning. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, what's up next? I feel like these are going to be pretty long ones, actually. Completely purify all corruption, crimson, and hallow from your world until the dryad is satisfied. Defeat deer clops. I could probably defeat deer clops. I need flinks fur, a lens, and then crimtain ore. Flinks fur, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. How much do I need? Please tell me it's just three. <laughs> it is just three. Fantastic. And I need a demon altar. Alright, let's go find one. Alright, let's head over to the right again. So craft this item, and then we can go kill that boss. And then that will probably end this episode. Uh, we're going to try and go for other achievements in the next one. Oh, here we go. Alrighty. Deer thing. Summons deer clops. Now, I think we need to go into the ice biome to do this. So let's just jump over there now. Alright, deer thing. Hello, buddy. Deer Clops has awoken. Uh... Has he? Oh, here he is. Whoa! Oh, an eye for an eye. Oh, and we got a, a relic and a treasure bag. Ooh. What do we get in the treasure bag? Oh, I got his eyeball. Ew. Some of the tiny deer clops. Oh, look at him. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's ugly, man. Ew. <laughs> And the treasure bag, what do we get? We get an umbrella, a relic, the bone helm, summon shadow hands to attack your foes. I don't know what that means. Um, and weather pain, ignores 10 points of enemy defense. That's pretty good. Oh, did you see that? It can't do much damage because it's a, uh, it's a pre-hard mode weapon, but I just, I do want to test it out. Oh, here we go. 35 damage, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially for like, pre-hard mode. Straight up just doing 35 damage on an equip weapon as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this uh, short episode of me trying to get all the Terraria achievements again. Uh, I think the other ones, the last five, are going to be a little bit harder to guess. But we'll worry about that later on. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace. House, you are getting that. Okay, good to play. Barry again. Uh, we're gonna have you... How do we make a spear? One wood, two stick. So to make a stick, how do we make a stick? One wood, one villager. So, if I go like this, you will make a stick.